Hey guys, Seven WWE Rocks here, and <clears throat> basically, as of course, as you can tell from the title, the topic of today's video is Team Authority versus Team Cena, and my thoughts on it at you know at Survivor Series. First, let's backtrack. Let's go to Raw, and um, Vince McMahon returned. That was really cool to see. I, I'm, I'm, I felt like the crowd didn't pop as much as they should have. Like I thought they were going to be really excited. It seemed like when he was making his entrance, they were, but maybe they just thought it was like Damian Sandow or something. But um, he came out and dropped the bombshell that if Team Authority loses, they will be out of power. They will not have any control of Raw anymore. So that's, you know, pretty big stipulation. I uh, don't really think they needed that, but um, it makes it a lot more better. And it makes the main event more special, I think. So, But basically, we had Randy Orton versus Seth Rollins. And uh, both were supposedly supposed to be on Team Authority. But they were just supposed to work out their problems. To just, you know, fight each other. And then they'll be done with it. They'll be That'll be through. Rollins got the backslide win. And uh, Orton seemed like he was accepting it. Then went to RKO uh, Seth Rollins. That led to Triple H coming out, telling him to calm down. He was going for the punt kick. Triple H told him to calm down, listen. So finally, Randy Orton was calm, was going to walk away, but bumped into Triple H. Triple H pulled him back to make sure, you know, you don't bump into him. And Randy Orton just decked him right there. You all saw this, but um, I'm just recapping it. Basically, I hate to get all, like, not metaphoric and, like, how it par paralleled uh, with Daniel Bryan's thing, but because uh, I hate when... English teachers are like, you're reading something, they're like, oh, the author meant this, and it's just like, no, he didn't, he meant this, he just meant a simple thing, we are too, making it too complex, but basically, I felt like this kind of mirrored, when Randy, when the authority was first created, it was Randy Orton in the shield and everybody else attacking Dan O'Brien, basically beating him down to like a bloody pulp, uh, not bloody pulp, but you get what I mean. And uh, it kind of mirrored that. Randy Orton, this is the end of the authority. What I think to believe is the end of the authority. And they beat down Randy Orton. So I felt like that was it kind of mirrored that. It was kind of cool to see in the beginning of the authority, Randy Orton was attacking Daniel Bryan. The end of the authority, it looks like the authority was attacking Randy Orton. So that was pretty crazy to see. I don't know if you felt the same way. Let me know if you think that way. But I'm excited for it. I'm really excited for who they pick for the teams. No one's really been announced. Um, I'm guessing Rollins and Kane will be on Team Authority, uh, Cena, of course, and then maybe Randy Orton, maybe he sides with Cena just because he hates the Authority so much now, and um, maybe you got like Ryback, and Rusev, he was brought up, Dolph Ziggler, I think, should still be on Team Cena. For the Ascent, or not the Ascent, if I'm, if I'm leading into that, for the Authority, I honestly think uh, the Ascent should come, could come up. Uh, my friend told me that a rumor that the Ascension was going to be at Raw. They weren't. But it got me thinking maybe for the Triple H, he's like, you know, the Authority needs the best team. Let's get the Ascension who have dominated in NXT. So let's bring up the Ascension. I think that would be cool to see. And it would be a cool debut, I think. And um, so, yeah, let me know what you think. And uh, sorry, I didn't really have much to talk about about the teams and who I should be on. And I know I threw out a few names, but I didn't give a final, like, draft. But, um... Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Follow me on Twitter at 7WWE Rock. Sam is my YouTube name. I'm going to be tweeting during Lucha Underground tonight. If you have the L Ray Network, I believe it's called, uh, DirecTV people have that. If you have that network, go watch Lucha Underground. You got guys like John Morrison, Ricochet, who go by different names, and uh, Brian Cage, uh, Conan, Chavo Guerrero. A lot of guys, a lot of good talent you can't see all the time on TV. You can see them. And I'll be tweeting. I'll be tweeting during Lucha Underground, and I'll be tweeting during TNA, of course. So, thank you for watching. Enjoy a good night of wrestling, and uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you, guys.